Hi, it's Rob here from Turnip Lord and from GamePit.co.uk. And today I've got a review for Filler Pits, which um, is the new game from Lightwood Games, who did Pick a Pit's Colour, which I reviewed previously. Um, so I have been playing this a little bit, but I just thought I would do a quick video just showing you how to actually do the puzzles in Filler Pits, because it is a little bit different to your standard puzzle game. So I'll just jump into play. As you can see, I've done a couple of them. Not done a lot, but I've done some. Uh, one thing to get out of the way as well, uh, the game is cross-buy on the PS4. So for the same purchase, you'll get it on the PS4 and on the PS Vita. And just like uh, Pick Pits, they both have their own trophy lists, which means their own Platinums. So technically, for I think it's about £6.50, you can get the opportunity to get two Platinums. So that's not bad. Right, so I'm going to just jump into one that I've not done. Let's just do this one down here. Not quite sure how big it is. Um, right, it's massive, so we're not going to be completing it. I'll just do like a quick five minute video or so just to let you know what we're doing. Right, so there's two methods of um, controlling. You can use big square and little square. And it's a little bit like Minesweeper crossed with Sudoku. So what you have here is any number, like this zero that's up here, it basically means that there is nothing coloured in. Oh. I might be best doing it on this one actually. Um, this zero here basically means that none of these nine surrounding squares have anything coloured in. So if you're doing it with a single mode, which is what I'm in now, you would press circle and colour them all in because we know that there's absolutely nothing going to be here. And for example, like this three here means that within this nine block here, three of them are coloured in. And we already know these six aren't. So obviously those three, by holding cross, would be filled in. So it's just a case of doing that, and obviously any uh, zeros that you see would be a case of filling them in, that the nine surrounding squares are not to be um, coloured in. So just go around, do all these. Like that. right, so that's that one. Um, the other mode is the big one. Now, this could technically be a cheating tool, but it's also not a cheating tool because you need to know what you're looking for to be able to use it. The way this one works is you would hover over one of these numbers in the center and it would automatically color it in if it can. If not, it will flash red like that and that goes against you and against the trophy. Um, but if we went down to this one, for example, it's only looking for one to color in and there's only one available square. So if you actually press X on that one, it will fill it in because it logically knows that, that has to be filled in because it's looking for one and there's one gap, so it has to be that one. Um, like I said, if you do this one and two here, it will go red because there's three gaps there, so it could be any of these three. So it, it won't and it won't solve the puzzle for you. It will just complete what you need to do basically. So what I found was a case of going around and grabbing all the zeros first, because they're the easy ones. You just get a zero and press uh, cross. Any nines as well, if you find a nine, just cross those, because you know that they're all coloured in. So it's the opposite of a zero, basically. And also any sixes on the edges, because you know that that's all going to be coloured in. So I'm just going to do this quickly. There's a zero there. One there, one there, one there. One there, one there. There's a couple up here. Some nines. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because there is a hint option in the game. But I've got a feeling that the hint option is just going to tell me to do these. So I want to get rid of some of these first so it actually shows us something different so I can show you what it does. Oops. Alright, well I think that one, oh, there's a free there as well, so we can do it on my free there. Like I said, if you press it on that one, it knows there's only free that can be done, so it will do that there. Um, so the hint option, you press L1 and R1 together, and if you look at the map on the uh, right hand side, it's got like a little green thing, so that's basically telling you, oh, there's something here that you can do. So I'm guessing it's referring to this 9 here. Yes, so if you do that, it will then tell me where the next one is, and obviously it's referring me to these zeros. And it's saying there's a 3. 
well it's not saying there's a free but if you look on a map it's basically saying there's something to the side of this one that I can do and we all know that a free you can click and you can do and it will get that one but then also this one there's a free there and it's already coloured in free so it knows that those three aren't going to be coloured in and just like this seven here we've got a two that aren't coloured in which is these two so because of that it knows that the rest are going to be coloured in so it's quite clever in that aspect there's a two there as well and there's a three there um, so it's quite clever in there it knows how to fill it in if you've done the main leg work uh, but like I said you can just spam it and just hope for the best and do that but you're not going to get anywhere to be honest with you and it's going to take you ages so you may as well use a bit of logical thinking and try and do it for yourself um, let me just go back over here and like I said, it, you can also, because one of the trophies does require you to only use this method and not use the smart tool. Um, that's just a case of pressing X and holding it down to colour in. X again to uncolour it. And then cir uh, yeah, circle to mark them off and circle to colour them back in again. And as you saw there then, some of these will go red. Like that. If it goes red, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Well, it does mean it's wrong, but but it's not telling you what's wrong. So, like this one here, this square, is now it's saying the six have to be coloured in. I put that five of them aren't coloured in, and there's only four that can be coloured in. So obviously that's not right because six of them have to be coloured in. So it's basically saying you've marked too many of the wrong thing. So if I do that the opposite way, like there's a four here, if I do five in that block. It's now saying you've, you've coloured too many in, but it's not saying which ones you've coloured in too many. As you can see, you can basically undo and redo all of them, and it will do it. It's just saying you've got one of them wrong, take a look, try again, basically. Um, so it's quite a clever little game, um, and I think there's 100, over 100 levels to do. If I just go back out of this um, menu... So here's Japan. I've been doing this one. You got France, Russia, Italy, Australia, Las Vegas, Mexico, African Safari, Egypt, England, and then back to Japan. And then we've just got a tutorial. We've got various options for different languages. So we've got English, French, uh, German, Spanish, and then back to English. You can turn the music on or off. Depends on whether you like it or not. I'm quite used to it by now, so it's quite good. And obviously you got your credits there um, by who it's by. So it's by Chris uh, Newman, Catherine Gordon. Uh, the artwork's by Man Mike Hansen. And the puzzles are by Conceptist Limited. There we go. So, yeah, so if you like the video, let me know down below. If you want me to do any more videos, a bit more in-depth, or if you want to see me actually do a whole puzzle and complete it just let me know down in the comments below also check the description because my review for the game is going to be out over on gamepit.co.uk when this video goes live and um, yep I'll catch you in my next video and thanks for watching